he's baiting out my spells. Watch this, guys. Watch this trick. You put a fisherman right in front of your king tower to grab the hog, and he should get one hit off on my king. Thank you very much. Hit him with the thumbs up. Bailey's dead. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Bailey's dad. Yes, I am a dad, and as you can notice, we're here in the playpen hanging out, having a good time with the dolls. Shout out to mom. She actually made this. Have a look. Anyway, today we're going to be playing some more classroom and climbing that ladder. We're looking for the 6,000 trophy mark. We're trying to get over 5,500 in a couple of days here, so let's get right on to it. First things first, let's collect our mega lightning chest. Look at this. A little baby chest. A little baby chest. And the big baby. This is the boss baby chest. The Arena 13 mega lightning. Look at this thing. Good lord. 282 e-barbs. 365 snowballs, 23 rockets, 38 inferno towers, who needs them? 109 valkyries, actually I wanted that to get my valk up, that's perfect. Oh baby, we got 28 lightnings and what is the legendary, what is it? Fish slap looking boy, I love it, we got a fisherman, one of 10. Oh and we have strikes too, yes to that lightning. No, I don't want poison. Ooh, that prince is good. Actually, I think I'm going to go for the XO, you guys. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of the new Executioner rework? Is it too OP? Is it going to get nerfed? Or do you think it finally is the balance that it needed? Let me know below. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. All right, Executioner. Oh, with the X. We got an X. We got an X bow. Ooh. Today, we're going to be playing this deck it is my coveted goblin giant magic archer bandita fisherman cycle deck 3.4 i guess it's a cycle deck i don't i don't really know but we're starting at 49 30 trophies let's go we are battling ladies and gentlemen boys and girls today we're playing first off zach from the guild eradicator Hit him with the good luck and the thumbs up always nice to be friendly you never know who you're gonna meet in person you never know who you're gonna be friend so don't be rude to your potential friends Aww. we're jumping in with the goblin giant and the bandita in the back this is extremely aggressive play by me not normally as aggressive as i'd like to start a game but uh i'm fired up and uh maybe to my detriment so let's plant a fisherman on the right we are going to take out that entire situation right there we're gonna clip the wizard hopefully it finds the fisherman and kills it. It does not. This is really bad, but that zap should take care of business for us. Okay. We did take some damage there, but um, we're coming back strong on both sides. Fisherman on the right. He should get a couple hits off right there. Boom. One more. Thank you. The fish slap. Magic Archer on the right had to be taken out by his... Um, what do you call that thing? Fur oh, the furnace. Okay, we're going right here, and then we're going right here in the back with the Bandita. We are going to suction all of that up with the Goblin Giant. And then, I predict, he's going to put up his Valkyrie. So, I'm going to put a Fisherman in the back. Man, that is... I don't think he could have played a better card right there. To be really honest with you. Because I'm thinking that I'm going to have to Fireball it. But I am not going to. I'm going to use my Magic Archer. Clean up shop a little bit right there. Please take care of that. Quickly. Thank you. Okay, so we are down a thousand life on our leftmost princess tower. Wizard's coming in hot. I'm going to fireball that. And it's a Valkyrie. Okay. Oh, that hurt. That hurt my feelings. Fireball all of that. Get rid of it. And we're going to be zapping this. Goodbye. He still does get a 500 damage advantage on us. But I think... He should be low on Elixir. I think his card is... Mm, there's the card. Man, this is a brutal start right here. A brutal start. But we're not going to give up hope. The Goblin Giant. Or, sorry, the Skeleton Giant. Let's see if I can get some uh, damage with the angles. No, I will not. But I will barrel this. Get that all cleaned up. And hopefully those uh, Fire Spirits get eaten up by something man because i'm starting to think that this guy's coming in with the best push he's ever seen i'm starting to think this guy well played is gonna win the first match of the night 
Well, good game to him. He does get up on the elixir, on the uh, trophies, excuse me, but we do not. Alas, we go down. But like I always say, guys, it takes a couple of losses to get a couple of wins. That's just the way it is. So we're going to good game to him, and we're going to get out, and we're going to get right back into the next one. Hit him with the good luck. We're looking at our friend Reyes from X-Force. In case you guys didn't know, I'm actually from Puerto Rico. I was born in Puerto Rico on a little island, and I was raised in Minnesota. Minnesota is not a fun place to be raised. It's um, very snowy, cold. But if you're from Minnesota, I'm really happy that you're watching. Um, I hope to meet you one day. Okay, we're coming in hot with the Goblin Giant. We got minions in the back. He does not have anything to stop this push right now. He's not making any attempt to stop it. I think he overcommitted on the elixir, and immediately his tower goes down. If he doesn't give up right here, I'm going to recharge and come back with a massive push for him. I'm going to come with the Fisherman. I think he's gone, guys. I think he just gave up. Check this out. We're going to Fireball Zap that and call it a GG. That may have been the fastest three crown I've ever had. See what I'm saying? You lose some, you win some. Not really a fair match. This guy did not really put up a good fight. But does it really matter in the ladder? I don't know. Let's jump right into another one. We're going to be battling again. We're looking for opponents. Duh. Okay, hit him with the good luck. Here we go. We got a legendary level guy named hashtag free cups. Does anybody know what that means? I definitely don't. So he comes out with an aggressive play, making me think that he's baiting out my spells. Watch this, guys. Watch this trick. You put a fisherman right in front of your king tower to grab the hog, and he should get one hit off on my king. Thank you very much. Hit him with the thumbs up. I am going to fireball that XO, and if I can zap it, I will too, because I'm not playing any games with that executioner ruining my day. He plays the P.E.K.K.A. on the right. Which leads me to believe he does not have enough elixir to take care of my minions, and my minions should clean up shop. Beautiful. He wastes the zap, meaning he wastes all of his elixir right there. He's not going to have anything to take care of this, and he has just taken a lot of damage from me. I'm waiting for him to counter my archer so I can go bandita on the... There it is. Bandita on the left, and that should lock straight onto that tower and take care of business for us. It does not because he drops spear goblins, bandit does not have enough time to recharge okay we are pushing in with the barbarian barrel and actually i'm going to put a goblin giant behind it as soon as that sparky launches its attack please kill the sparky okay that that's not exactly what i wanted but it is going to be okay we're going to get a lot of damage on his tower he just wasted a lot of elixir pulling my uh, goblin giant he zapped it as well so i'm going to push in hot on the left here and i should get a lot of damage Possibly he's gonna put his spear goblins at the time. No, he does not have enough time to do that. So that tower is going to go down um, Beautiful he should try to counter the magic archer if he does I'm immediately going bandita on the opposite side to take his other tower Let's wait and see we have 60 seconds two times elixir I'm putting bandit in the back just so I don't leak any elixir right here Not the best play not the smartest play and I'm waiting for the P.E.K.K.A. because I know it's coming. So I'm not going to waste any more elixir if he didn't just quit. He lets the bandit hit the king tower. Not doing any defensive plays right now. To be honest with you, minions in the back. Goblin giant at the bridge as soon as I get 10 elixir. And I'm waiting with my fisherman to pull the P.E.K.K.A. if he even tries to. If he doesn't, it's a GG. I'm pull, throwing the Barbarian Barrel, Magic Archer in the back, Bandita in the corner just to secure that second Princess Tower. A second round of minions coming in for the King Tower. Guys, I think that is a GG. Another three crown for us. That's two for three. We lost one, and we got two three crowns back to back. That's fantastic. I love that. And we're at... 4968 trophies. I did say that my goal for this episode was to get over 5,000, and I'm going to make that happen. Let's play another round with that same deck. We're jumping straight into it. We're playing a guy who's got 4964. He is a level 11 King Tower. Hit him with the good luck. Hit him with the thumbs up. He's got bats coming in hot. Level 12 bats. I think he's cycling, obviously. He's just cycling his cards, 
And uh, he does get one tick of damage, which is, eh, neither here nor there. So, and he just logs for some reason. What is that? I'm going to hit him with the Confused Goblin because that was... Well, that's obnoxious. Let's see if my Magic Archer can re-zap that. My Magic Archer should be able to hit that entire situation. Take out that guy. Please take him out. I beg of you, take out the tower. He does not. But that's fine because I'm going to wait the three seconds that it takes. I'm going to put my Goblin Giant right there. And whatever he's got, he's got that. Let's fireball it. Why not? He's wasted so much elixir. I'm just, he wastes even more. So I'm going to counter on the opposite side with Bandita. Why did I do that? Because I predict that he's going to put a bunch of elixir into canceling my Goblin Giant. So I want to distract him uh, from doing that. And I did. Actually, he put a skeleton army on the bandit side. And look, look what we came out with. A king tower that's 569. And another, or Princess Tower, excuse me, and another Princess Tower by one bandit that is half life. So that's, that's perfect. That's a perfect play. Magic Archer in the back on the weak side. He does fireball that. So I'm going to go in Goblin Giant and I predict he should go with his Inferno Tower. And he does. Hopefully these minions, ugh. He's, he's using so much elixir. Now that he did all that, I'm going to capitalize. I'm going to go on the left side and take out that. And I'm going to get the Skarmie out of the way first. Go, go, go. Perfect. Perfect lucky play. Wow. It worked out for us. I'm going to put the Fisherman right here. This is not how I play Fisherman. Not how I recommend playing Fisherman. But, ugh. But I just had to. Barb Barrel in the back for his Tricky Barrel gets me. Good game on that. Okay, so we know that that tower is down. Now, I'm going to put the Magic Archer, and he should be able to take out that Inferno Tower just from the proximity of where he decided to place him. I know that the Dark Goblin is going on the left, and I got a zap right here for this entire situation. He's going to get a quite a bit of damage, which is um, well played for him. Wow, okay. I'm actually starting to get really annoyed by this Inferno Tower. He's, he's not going to be able to, um, he's not going to, this was really bad for him because he just wasted so much elixir. My bandit is going to charge and take out that, that tower on the left. And if not, then my other friend does and that's down. So good game. We're going to hit him with the dragon lick. Another win boys. Another win. We're climbing. We're finally climbing three trophies before we hit 5k. What do you think? Should we go for another? Leave a like. Oof, leave a like if you think Crying Babies is the saddest sound in the world. Okay, let's jump into one more match, see if we can get this W, see if we can get over the 5,000 trophy mark. It's about this time I start getting a little bit nervous, but not when I think about the goal of having 6,000. 6,000 is so much farther than 5,000 that I shouldn't even be sweating at all right now. Okay, we're going to play it nice and slow. We're playing Black Bean. He is at 5,000 trophies. Exactly, he is a level 12. So we're just going to watch and we're going to hit him with the good luck. Okay, I'm going to put a bandit on the right. I want to put some pressure on because I think he's coming in with possibly a tank in front of that. I am going to let him hit the tower and then I'm going to come straight back with the minions. Watch this zap, guys. Oh, it wasn't quick enough. Not the smartest zap. Not the smartest, I will admit, but it should get us defending that's perfect okay we do want to deal with it level 13 which he's got level 13 everything are you serious okay i am a little stressed out about this but i'm not going to make things worse for myself so i am going to grab the fisher i'm going to pull him back here that tower is locked onto the tank so we're going to have to zap all of this <clears throat> good the princess does retarget to the witch and the witch connects with three bats making it a lead for black bean right now fisherman does not have a chance against that princess tower with the low life that he had dragon in the back we're going bandit and we're gonna push up hot with the magic archer why not <clears throat> why not why not get some angles out of it i am going to let the minion he does he says well played thank you for that appreciate it let's take care of all this for free 
perfect we do he zapped the minions that is an interesting play by him as soon as i see that tank come down we're gonna counter tank he doesn't drop a tank he drops the ice boy okay there it is <clears throat> i predict a witch is coming on that side so we're gonna have our zap ready to go he drops a dragon and a witch can i get them both no i cannot it's unfortunate but it's just the way oh i did i did get them both wow that was so clutch okay i'm gonna have to pull him way down here because that witch is going to be catastrophic to me well the dark prince is going to be even worse he does take the tower okay <clears throat> 30 seconds left is there anything i can do with this Yep, it means that I get to push up on the opposite side with a bandit as well. I'm going to let him get a bunch of damage on there. And I haven't spent anything on defending this side, which is not good. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, so with eight seconds left, I don't have much of a chance. I'm going to hit him with the good game and the thumbs up. And let's see if I can zap the Dark Prince for good measure. Cool, he takes one tower. Hopefully that minimizes our trophy hit. Good luck. We do get a negative 21. And I'm going to go for one more match. I'm going to go for one more quick match right here because I want to hit 5,000. I want y'all to see 5,000. Darn it. We're playing mini Thanaeus from the guild hashtag walkers, the clan, excuse me. And this time we're not going to even waste a moment. We're going to hit the 10 elixir and we're going to go straight with the goblin giant in the back. He plays the rascals. And I love the rascals because they've got so much space that they cover that it makes it oh my goodness are you serious i'm going minion right here i might even need to zap this you guys i do need to zap it oh so close so close he almost shredded my tower barbarian barrel on the left to take care of that one rascal it deals with it beautifully i have a fireball on deck ready to go for anything that he might get frisky with he doesn't do a thing. 2040, 2040, uh, 2,472 health on my Princess Tower. We're going to recycle this same gig, but this time I'm going to be more aggressive. Okay, he's trying something different. Pull the fisherman, or pull the, um, whatever you call him, the uh, miner. Oh, okay. This is obnoxious. I'm really, really hoping that that... We can take care of that and get out of the way. Beautiful. Fireball coming in for the Rascals. We do take care of that. <clears throat> and we get some counter damage. Overall, we won that exchange. Here's when things get horrendous for us. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, he's got a balloon fully unleaded, fully explosive on my tower doing all of its might and he still has the tower of death he does do a barbarian barrel and okay there it is we're gonna zap this whole situation hopefully the minions are able to take care of it no they're not but i'm gonna fireball it and that ends up being actually a very very good exchange for us except for this yet again I keep wasting my minions, forgetting that he's got the balloon. I keep doing that, man. That's so bad. That's so, so, so bad. But now I have to counter push on the opposite side because I don't think that he's going to see it coming. Okay, incredibly enough, that does get targeted by... Hold on a second, guys. I'm actually trying to think really hard at the same time as talk, which is extremely challenging for me am i going to be able to do anything with this no i am not even with the fireball that's a good game well played boo boo that was a good game that was a really good game from a level 11 king tower guy overall we are going to be up on trophies by just a little bit and the good news is we still have how many days let's see we still have 24 days and nine hours left in the season so y'all are going to see that 6k i'm going for it i've never gone for it i'm very hyped Thank you so much for watching, guys and girls. I really appreciate it. Please leave me a like. And if you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of content that's coming out that I know you're going to love. I'm Bailey's dad, and I'll see you guys in the next one.